and I saw somebody, an uh, academic, said he was like, LA is spooky, and I was like, uh, I don't, you would have to speak more about that, because I don't be over there, like, I don't, I stay away from LA, I ain't gonna cap. No, it's, like, it's definitely nothing to, I don't think, like, people that's not from LA realize how, like, it's not, it's not just, like, what they think it is, like, it really is some, like, crazy stuff that goes on in L.A. Like, it is bad. Oh, you got like, eliminated? Oh, let me back up. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm in the um, lobby. Oh, easy. Like, people getting robbed and all this other crazy stuff way more than, like, outsiders, out of people from out of state, like, yeah. realize. Like, they think they come to L.A., they, they hear about how it is, they see pictures and movies and all this other stuff. But... It's different parts of LA. So a lot of time when somebody that's famous or well known say LA, they could be talking about niggas capping. Niggas far as it. A different part of LA, <laughs> like Hollywood or in the valley. Yeah. Like Yeah, they in the valley. Yeah, get that right. Say yeah. say it with your chest. Say it with your chest, Booby King. Where they at? Where them niggas at? <laughs> Is in the valley. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. Different from being in like South Central. Like if you Whoa, if you in like, wild. That's, wild. it's too different. I'm saying, but it's all gonna get classified as L. A. Yeah, that's facts. So it, it's it's a different it's a different type of thing that's gonna go on in different areas. But niggas from over here will go will go down to um. Melrose and be robbing niggas. So like y'all gotta be safe everywhere. It's like y'all think y'all gonna come here where where all your drip, your jury yeah, out. You tripping. Niggas is looking like he said. He said it's gonna it's gonna cause some attention. We gonna see it. Yeah, I'm and it's up. You. And when they see it, it's up, bro. It's up, man. <laughs> it's up. Listen, RP P and B Rock. Real stuff. R P yeah. bro. I promise you though, nigga. I don't go to that fucking Roscoe's. What the hell was he doing over there? With your jewelry? You crazy. You crazy. That's what I be saying. Like, you, you crazy. Gotta, I promise you. Gotta y'all. be more wise, bro. None of us, anybody, nigga, I'm not even from LA. Like, I, I grew up in Long Beach. I'm a Long Beach nigga. I got some family out in South Central. And I got one uh, kind of, it's LA still, actually. It's passing wood. By the one, what was that? The 105 freeway? Uh, 110, 110, 110. So they in the hood too. Yeah. Nigga. Everybody in their mama's reaction. When we saw, oh, he died at Roscoe's, which one he go to? Nigga, we saw the address. We said, oh, yeah, that makes sense, nigga. Everyone. Yeah, every, bro, everybody from out here, they was the same thing. It's like, why would, they always say, why was he, why would, out of all the ones, why would he go to that? <laughs> For what? But that's what I'm saying. There's places that, bro, even like you said, you from Long Beach, but you still know, like, it's certain it's certain places you don't even want to go in other cities just because you know. It's just like, you don't want to go to this gas station in the middle of L.A., like, nah, yeah, nah. in the I'm middle sure. of the night. Like, now nah, I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass on this yeah, one right nigga. now. I'm, I'm going to get my gas before <laughs> I head out to L.A., nigga. I'm making sure I got a full yeah, like, tank. You don't want to stop, like, on Hoover or something, and you yeah. need gas in the middle of the night. Like, you yeah. know, nah, I'm cool. I, I'm, you... <laughs> I'm keep moving. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. This, we not, bro, listen, I'm not trying to hype up LA like this is crazy, but listen, that's why I be telling people too, like, they be like, oh, but you be in like bad, I'm like, you yeah, know, I be in like kind of semi, maybe some you know, hoods and stuff. I said, but everybody that goes to the hood, Nigga, it's like we're visiting our grandma. Like, we have yeah. family that been over there for years, nigga. Like, decades. Yeah. Like, we not just over there to be over there and we don't know nobody. Nigga, you think I'm going to a hood and I don't know nobody? You crazy as hell. You crazy okay. as hell. You crazy as hell. That's why it's just like, 
you feel you feel good where you from because it's like okay I, I know so and so I know so and so like like you say you grew up there so it's it's kind of like it's home you you know everybody that's around you know kind of the people in your hood you might have grew up with some of them your parent your yeah. your parents might have grew up with their parents something like yeah. and nigga stop you you be like oh yeah nigga my, nigga I promise I'm here nigga right there nigga that's my house nigga right there <laughs> nigga uh, hold on brother come on bro <laughs> nigga I promise bro I'm right there bro come on bro don't do me like that fam. Like, you know what I'm saying? You hit the nigga. You can't hit the nigga with, yeah, bro, I stay three cities away. Oh, yeah, it's up. Yeah, go ahead. Give me all that, brother. Yeah. All you got. But, I, like, when I see people talk about it, I see that, like, people from out of state think they don't really realize how much, like, gang politics that L.A. have. Because even when I see when they post about all the hats and stuff and people don't really be believing, like, that it really means something other than the team, but it's like no, like when you out here, you know it's some, it's some hats you really can't wear because it's that like is that personal to- towards certain type of people depending on what type of hat you wear. Like leave it alone. Somebody will come up to you and say something, and they gonna figure you, it out. You gonna be you gonna be shaking for your life because you thought you were just putting on a baseball <laughs> cap, and they gonna figure it out. <laughs> no. They gonna figure it out with you. They gonna try to figure. They gonna be like, "Hey, bro, what's up with that?" You like, "I don't know." Okay, let's figure it out. We gonna figure it out. Let's get to the bottom. Of it. That nigga ain't never cared about nothing, but he trying to figure out that. Though. That was the question he trying to. He trying to solve that problem. <laughs> that nigga failed every class, but that's the problem he trying to figure out. Really, leave that nigga alone, man. I'm telling you, y'all. I promise y'all. Like, I remember, I stayed. My dad, like, you know, back in the day, he was he stayed in the area of Carson. I was like more crip, crip neighborhood, and he was, you know, affiliated. Just because he grew up over there, right? And I never forget, bro. Told my homie on July fourth, I was like, "Hey, bro, pull up on me, bro. I'm over here." My homie stay on the blood side of cars, and he looked at me, said, "Nigga, nigga didn't even get out the car. <laughs> nigga stayed in the car, rolled down the window, was like, nigga, what you, uh, what you doing over here, brother?" <laughs> I said, "I said, hey, bro, like, I said, I told you my family, like, my dad really, like, you know what I'm saying, like, my dad was really like lived over here, and he, you know." I, you know, I'll be, you know, when I nigga looked at me, he said, Yeah, that's smooth, that's smooth, that's smooth. Um, yeah, I just came to say what's up, bro. I'ma fuck with you. Yeah, no, I can't be over here, nigga. That nigga didn't look me in the eye one time. He had a 360 vision. That nigga was looking around, looking like smoky off a of Friday, nigga. I promise. I said, my fault, bro. I said, my fault, bro. I shouldn't even invite you. My bad, bro. I forgot. Like I've been in Idaho. I forgot, bro. I didn't even my bad. He said, Yeah, nigga. Let me catch you though. Like, it's really, please, y'all, like, Lee, that stuff is, and I want to say this, too, and Booba King could attest, too, like, the reason why a lot of us, even if we didn't grow up in the hood, right, a lot of us, like, know how to, like, handle ourselves around it or, like, been around, like, those type of people, one is because a lot of our family members probably like that, Uh, but two, nigga, everything is around the corner, bro. <laughs> like, bro, you make a turn, nigga. It's a project right there. And then the suburbs is right there. Oh, God. That's what I'm telling you. I say, I'm like, I nigga. Less than five minutes away from, <laughs> from a certain project. So we all, we all literally go to the same schools. So we yeah. making jokes, dapping each other up, laughing. We don't, especially when we kids, we don't know nothing. We like, oh, that's the homie. Then, like, probably through, like, middle school, like, you know, high school, you might little grow a little part. But, oh, that's the homie, you know what I'm saying? But you been hang out with bro, yeah. play football, sports with the nigga, you know what I'm saying? So you know how to move, but, bro, I kid y'all not, I'm literally around the corner from a project. I have a sol- I have a nice house. Like, I have a good house, okay? I'm not rich. I, I could attest. It's a good house. It's if you house. make one turn... There's literally a project. <laughs> like, my nigga. And you'd be like, bro, there's no way this is this close. And a lot of other, like, especially out-of-state cities aren't like that. Yeah. Like, things are more separated. Like, and out here is just... So, like, when people, like, you come here and say you do go to Hollywood. Nigga, the hood is right there. Keep walking, nigga. It'll be right yeah. there. to <laughs> smack you right there. And they're gonna run you for all your pockets. Bro, it's not even, like... Even in Hollywood, in Hollywood, it's still like kind of bad. Like, it's not considered like a like a good area. Like niggas go out, niggas be getting robbed out there too. 
The facts. Like, all the time. <laughs> facts, bro. I saw a nigga. This was crazy, y'all. I promise y'all. This is when I knew I'm never coming back. I went out one time downtown LA. I promise. I said, nigga, I'm not coming back to LA. I'm staying in Idaho, bro. This is what happened, bro. I'm not staying out here forever, but I said, nigga, I'm never going out again in downtown LA. I promise, nigga. Nigga on the street. Shooting up heroin or crack. And then the cop was the cop was driving, just looking at the nigga, said, "Go ahead," and kept pushing. I said, "Yo, this is crazy." I said, "Yo, this nigga." I looked at him. <laughs> I looked at him. Look at the crackhead. Look at the crackhead. Look at the cop. I said, "Ah." Oh. I said, "I guess I'm tripping. I'm a nigga tripping. My fault. My fault. I'm tripping. My bad. My bad. This is me. <laughs> I'm wild." I said, I'm wilder. This is me. You right. I threw in my hands. I kept it pushing. I said, you right. That's me. My fault, yo. My fault. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm in the wrong. <laughs> I'm wilder. My fault for thinking. I, my fault, yo. I'm t yo, I'm not capping. I promise y'all. And it smell like piss all down 10 LA. It does not smell good. Yeah. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> it don't smell good. It's rats running around everywhere. He goes, it's nasty. It's dirty. It's not it, niggas go there to the club and stuff, but it's like I don't I don't know how good the the clubs are in LA. I've been to a couple, but they they close like two o'clock, and then everybody just leave. It'd be crowded, traffic like it's true. How the fuck is traffic? <laughs> it's, it's nonstop traffic in LA, bro. Yeah, I only been to like a warehouse party when I was younger. So that was when I went out and saw the crackhead. You know, I mean, have a have a powwow with the cop eye test. You know what I'm saying? That was the first time I really went downtown LA to like go to a club or like a bar or something. I I only been when I because you know in LA we got like 18 plus parties. They'd be like warehouse parties throw it in LA. So I would go to that. You know what I'm saying? But all in, like if I was like where I'm at now, like honestly, like I would not go to party in downtown LA. I promise I would. Like, I'd be like, I'm cool out there. Like, I would just be like, let's have a house party. Invite some girls that we trust. I'm not getting lined up. I'm not getting lined up. You crazy. Let's invite some random hoes. Nigga, you lost me. You can invite them by yourself. I'm telling you. I'm telling send them, send, send them to your crib. Yeah, hell nah. First of all, nobody know where I live. We running out a hotel. I would just say, we going to ball. We running out a hotel. Invite them there. We're going to have a great time. Do a Marriott or something, you know what I mean? <laughs> it is tripping, man. Yeah. I'm telling y'all. But all of y'all, y'all, LA is. It do feel spooky if you not like, especially when you first get there. Because it's spooky for me, and I live in Long Beach. Yeah. I don't I, like I don't go out there. Saying, like how you were saying earlier, it's when you in any other city than the one you're from. Because like when I'm in Compton, like I feel like I'm good. Like, but once, as soon as I, I'm, not, I told you, I don't mess with Lone Beach. Like, <laughs> you stay in Lone Beach, I go to Lone Beach, I'm thinking a nigga is about to steal my tires off my car. I'm like, bro, I do not mess with Lone Beach. Yeah, you went too niggas far. Niggas is just so. <laughs> he I'm told like, me stories, y'all. No. He, he went too far a couple times. He went to the east side of the, <laughs> east side and north side. But he, you probably comfortable on the north side because that's Compton. That's like super close to Compton. Bro, then I go to, I. Like at any part of LA South Central, bro, I'm looking like you said, I'm looking over everything. I'm looking in my mirrors all the time. Like I you gotta you really gotta watch yourself. Some people just move too too loosely and that's how they get caught. But I'm telling you, my eyes be on the swivel at all times. Yeah. Niggas is not about to catch me lacking like that. Facts. I don't li listen, this is how I take I take it so serious, nigga. I be so willing to drive my mom's drive my bum ass car. My little Camry, rather than my mom's BMW, nigga. When I go to LA, I'll be like, nigga, I don't want nobody looking at me at all. Nigga. And her shit not even like brand new nothing no more. Like I'm like, I want a nigga, I want a nigga to look at me and be like, you robbed me, nigga. I don't know for what. I ain't got nothing for you. You really looked at me and robbed me out of all these good cars. You tripping? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Drive a '97 Camry, nigga. What are you? What are you trying to get something for me for? You could rob me. Yeah, come on, bro. You want my radio? <laughs> <laughs> man, what's up, my nigga? Niggas be stealing radios and shit. Oh, oh man. <laughs> you got hold up. 
I made it. They made that more difficult than it used to be, though. Oh, God. I did the two. I'm over here 